dramatic entrance. So this is my old NearPixel arc reactor project. And as you can see, it's quite a lot bigger than this new one and it weighs a hell of a lot more as well. So the idea was to create a smaller version that I could wear on my chest. So I'm gonna break this down and we're gonna talk about what's inside it and how I managed to build it. The construction is two layers of three mil acrylic and two layers of 1.5 mil acrylic. The electronics inside are an Adafruit Gemma and a Adafruit near pixel ring with 16 near pixels. Then I've just used a standard 3.7 volt LiPo battery to power it. So here I've got the different components of the build. I've got the top layer, which is purely for design. I've then got a diffuser layer, which diffuses the light from the near pixels. I've then got another diffuser layer, which diffuses the near pixels from the top. This layer also holds the near pixel ring in place and the gemma in place. And if you can see there, I've got two spacers which keep pressure on the gemma. I've then got this base layer which keeps everything together and also connects to this magnet ring. The whole build is then just held together by these three nuts and bolts. The electronics in this build are all around this layer. So so you can see here a 16 near pixel ring and a Adafruit Gemma. Now this Gemma has been modified slightly so that this JST power connector sticks upright rather than outwards. And this was so you could get power to the build through the back. You'll also notice if I flip this over, copper tape. Copper tape was a big part of this build it allowed me to keep things really thin where wires just wouldn't have worked. So if you have a look here, you can see where I've routed from the near pixel ring and then done the same routing on the Gemma so that it can connect up. So that would fit on there like so. And then the connections would run underneath through the copper tape. The one problem about working with copper tape was you didn't get a good connection if you didn't get a good friction fit. So to achieve that, I've added these two little spaces that just fit there and there. And when the whole build is clamped together, you get a lovely tight fit. So I'm gonna put this all together and show you it working. So now that it's built, let's throw a battery in it and see it glowing. Line, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 